reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live, your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It is a Tuesday. I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day and remembered the reason for Memorial Day. Absolutely. A nice little extra day to relax, you know, but yeah. also, as we said, remember That's those right. who gave their lives in service and still. And she form. wouldn't she wouldn't let me come to her house yesterday to eat. Thanks a lot, eat at my house. Yeah, well, you didn't invite <laughs> me either. I did, but I. What'd you make? I kind of signaled you a little bit. Did come. you make anything? No. Right. Hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, we got a great show lined up, a lot of fun stuff. That's right. Let's check out our weather. Your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Zach Covey. It was a relatively hot day in comparison to our climatological normals yesterday. I think that's kind of just barely scratching the surface, right? Our normals are 81 along the Grand Strand and 85 inland. We were nowhere close to those normals yesterday, folks. In fact, I think the coolest temperature was actually 95 degrees in Shira and Whiteville. And when I say cool at 95, it just does not add up. We even reached 101 degrees yesterday in Florence, marking the second consecutive day of triple digit temperatures in that city. Remember Sunday, they set 100 degrees for the first time in four years. Today, sunny skies from sun up to sundown in Myrtle Beach. We're up to 89 degrees earlier this morning, but we're continuing into the 90s as we head into the afternoon. A south wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Winds will be shifting, though, inland. We are going to notice a west wind. Uh, the further away from the coast you go, so expect a west wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. 99 degrees later on today. Yeah, that seems likely, especially given everything that happened yesterday inland with all those temperatures in the upper 90s. It makes sense. Tuesday and Wednesday, some of the hottest days we'll experience this week, but that high pressure sinking to the south that is going to allow for some relief as we head into the weekend, especially as that high retrogrades back on out towards Texas heading into Sunday. However, by relief, I mean temperatures more so in the lower 90s, not the 70s or 80s, okay? So we could set records at the beaches Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Records on Friday and Saturday are safe as that cooler quote unquote air filters in. Same thing inland records Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Records on Friday and Saturday are safe. I do also want to remind everybody we are under an elevated risk of fire danger today across the region, basically meaning uh, small fires are easily spreadable. The highest fire threat today happening between the two to four o'clock hour. This just for Conway, but as you can imagine, this fire threat really is for the entire area. 20% chance of an isolated shower Friday, Saturday, Sunday heading into next week. CCMF's next Thursday. It's on our 10 day forecast. High of 85 degrees, partly cloudy skies and a 20% shot of a shower storm. So temperatures are falling, but we're still slated to be above average next week. All right, there is your lineup for today. It's coming. Brandon, here it goes. There, it, there is. it is. There we go. Our Hollywood Minute, of course, our joke of the day. I heard today's a funny one. Joke of the day. They you never was, know what's going to happen. They said it was about you. Me? Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. No. Then we've got, of course, our video of the day and... Celebrity birthdays, and that's uh, always important. People want to know where their celebrities are having birthdays. And also coming up on today's show, that's right. uh, we've got a big event coming up in Mullins. I'm that's talking right. about a barbecue cook-off in Cruise, Maine. That's we're right. going to be talking about always that today. such a really good time. And guess what? We're talking all about dogs. The Grand Strand Humane Society is here with our pet of the day and also talk about the North Carolina June Jamboree Dog Show coming up in Lumberton. All that and more right after your Hollywood Minute. Don't kill yourself with drugs. Rocket Man doesn't shy away from the sex and drugs in Elton John's past, and that's the way he wanted it. John wrote in the Guardian newspaper, 
everyone knows I had quite a lot of both during the 70s and 80s, so there didn't seem to be much point in making a movie that implied that after every gig I'd quietly gone back to my hotel room with only a glass of warm milk and the Gideon's Bible. Rocket Man opens Friday. It's a big honor. Gloria and Emilio Estefan's latest hit wasn't a song, it was an accident. Miami Dade Fire Rescue says a dump truck crashed into the Estefan's Crescent Moon recording studio on Monday. The damage appeared to be minor. Gotta go fast. The filmmakers of Sonic the Hedgehog have pushed back the film's release. Fans criticized the character's human-like teeth and skinny legs when the first trailer landed in April, so they'll keep working on it, moving the film's debut from early November to next Valentine's Day. Director Jeff Fowler tweeted they're taking a little more time to make Sonic just right. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Hey, my name is Keith, and this is the joke of the day. Boo! So I remember last week when Cecil told us that the fact of the day was that onions are the only food that make you cry. So I threw a coconut at him. Ha! He got served food! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know where Keith and I come up with that. Uh, he made that one. He I'll made, have, I think I'll he made to, that one. I'll have to give him that. That was a funny one. <laughs> All right, let's talk about something else. Family Movie Day just got cheaper for people uh, visiting AMC theaters. Uh, the chain is offering summer deals for kids and for the young at heart. AMC says participation will be a participants will be able to see a movie and buy popcorn and a drink and a snack. How about that? All for guess what? Four dollars. The what's deal, a deal. That's right. The deal is only for Wednesday mornings and for PG-rated movies. The promotion runs from June fifth to August 14th. Wow. Four dollars? That's I'm a in. deal. That's, you can't even go to a movie hardly for four dollars anymore. You definitely can't. That, I like that's that. kind of how it used to be. That's good. I, yeah. I used to go to a movie for a quarter a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, they were black and white films too. All right, here we go. Let's check about, let's, let's talk about haberdashery. Are you getting ready for the beach? I know you are. Well, Haberdashery Gentleman Clothes in Conway has you covered. How about the latest in swimwear? Uh, from floral to patriotic and all the accessories like colorful towels and all kinds of sunglasses, hats, and of course, Southern Tide sandals. Need a great t-shirt? How about Southern Tide, Johnny O, and Southern Point, just to name a few. And for those special occasions, like weddings, there's a large selection of tuxedos and suits. The Haberdashery Men's Clothing in Conway, just one-stop shop for men. That's right. All right, now we've got to, of course, talk about where we get our promotional items, or we call it swag. Our pins, hats, cups, there it is, Surf Water Promotions, right over there off Homestown Road in Surfside. If you need a logo for your business or a logo revamp, you can sit down with our design team. They can help you figure that all that up, and they can t-shirts. They can do all kinds of t-shirts, and now colored t-shirts. They just printed some for us. I'm sure everybody else has them, but we have some new colored t-shirts <laughs> that are just fantastic with our brand new logo. So check them out right over there off Homestown Road. Surfwater promotion. And don't forget, they'll, they will cover your car with your logo for your company or a van, whatever you want to yeah. do, they can do it. Absolutely. All right, let's find out about today. Today is Tuesday, May 29th, and this is Pink Flamingo Go Day. Pum, pum, what? I don't know. Oh, okay. That's what it we'll says. just go with a flamingo. Pink <laughs> Flamingo Day. How about that? Is, and it is also Honor Our Ancestors Day. All right, let's go with birthdays today. 1956. Toya, let's see, Jackson, she's 63 years old. Can you believe that? Sister of Michael Jackson, of course. Hits just want to dance and free the world. Before fame now, she wanted to be a lawyer. And, of course, we talk about that famous wardrobe malfunction at the Super Bowl. Whoa, that was her sister. That was Janet. That, no, was, that Janet. was Janet? Yeah, oh, that I'm one. Sorry. Don't get her mixed up. I don't that get was mixed not up. LaToya. I'm sorry. <laughs> fake news, fake news. There we yeah, go. There 1975, we go. Yeah. talking about Mel B, 44 years old, one of the original Spice Girls, the songs I Want You Back, number one. And now on America's Got Talent Before Fame, she was a dancer at a hotel. A dancer at a hotel? Yeah. Okay. Entertainment. You know? Oh, well, I'm just checking on that. 1984, <laughs> Casey Straw. She's 35 years old, Disney film, high school musical. Also in the movie, Hannah Montana, and the musical, also uh, House Wax 2. Yeah, House okay. of Wax, sure. Right. Today in history, let's check it out. Bing Crosby and the Ken Darby Singers, John Scott Trotter Orchestra recorded Irving Berlin's White Christmas. And Bing uh. Crosby makes 
money that family does off that every year. All right, 1971, the Rolling Stones single Brown Sugar, it hit number one in the U.S. All right, from Nodal Department, where we learn something every day, the first European who learned to smoke from the natives, listen to this, was arrested back home because people thought he was possessed by the devil. Because no one back ever, in the earth, nobody know. knew what smoking was, and he was smoking, and they thought he was possessed by the devil. Huh. Wow. That's it from a know-it-all department today. <laughs> We've got a great show lined up. We'll be back. What's the best way to print text messages? Find out after our advertiser. We all need to print text messages once in a while. The best way to do it depends on your needs. If you only want to print one or two screens full of text messages, then you may just want to take a screen capture to preserve the messages as an image. You can then print the image. If you want to save or print an entire text message history dating back weeks or months, you can use software tools like TouchCopy on your computer. It works with Android and iOS devices. Attach your phone and download the messages to your computer. Save the message history as a text or PDF file. With TouchCopy, you can back up and save other data like voicemail, images, and music. It's available for Mac and Windows computers. I'm Francie Black. For more great tips, visit TechTangoToday.com. All right, pet of the day from the Grand Strand Humane Society. Kathy's here with Caesar. 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 His name is Caesar. I like it. All right. Now, first, hey, the one you had a, we had on last time was adopted, She's right? She was adopted yesterday. So that's yeah, what we Michelle, want the yeah. same for mm -hmm. Caesar. We definitely want this for yes. Caesar. Yes. Tell us about Caesar. <laughs> he is wonderful, isn't he? He's got the most beautiful green eyes. And he's just a big baby. He's around three years old. And um, obviously very affectionate. And he and I matched today. That's right. <laughs> this was not on purpose. Um, he, he's just, he's too big for the adopt me harness. Uh, he's a big boy, but he's just a big baby. He's perfect. He rides really well in the car. He, um, he walks really well on the leash. He loves other dogs. He's great with kids. Awesome. Uh, oh, I wow. mean, he's, I can't think of anything wrong with this so, dog. So where did he come from? Where did Caesar come from? He was, he was surrendered by his owner. Oh, okay. And the only thing it says is his personal problem. So I assume it was the owner, not his. Had some, the, yeah, so. yeah the, the owner maybe had some issues. But yeah, that yeah. means he needs a family. Yeah. He's going to be great in a family. So if you have a family or other pets, bring them in. Yeah. Right? I mean, That's really important. Oh, it adoption. is. Yeah. It, we, especially if you have, well, yes, the, the whole family should meet the dog before taking him home. And also, if you have other pets, we prefer that they do a meet and greet. And make sure that they all get along and everything. But he's just—he's great. He doesn't—he doesn't mark like a lot of male dogs do. He's just—he's just a really, Look, really. He's about to fall asleep. He likes yeah, TV. He's just so <laughs> affectionate. Now, tell me real quick, what does your shirt say? Oh, it's—it's it's the walk for the animals. I think it's okay. something paws and footsteps or something okay. like that. It's from our, <laughs> it's from our t uh, 2016 okay. walk for the animals. But yeah. I have a, my, my whole wardrobe consists of Grand Strand T-shirts. I love it. All right. <laughs> That's everything I own. <laughs> what you got coming up? Anything coming up this weekend? We, well, no, we don't actually have anything coming up. But we do have a request for funding as well as adoptions. We, I mean, our, we have dogs living outside right now in this heat. Yeah. Because we have so many dogs. So it would be nice to have some adoptions quickly because we really need to get the other ones inside because it is awfully hot out it, there. It, it is very, it is. very hot. hot to be outdoors. So Absolutely. that's what people so. need to do. Make a donation. Help Make a them donation, out a little bit. yes. Yeah. Or come adopt one of our, weather, our wonderful dogs like Caesar. Right. That's right. Well, you Caesar <laughs> will be gone. He'll be gone I after think this he will. week. I, I think, think he's going to be too. gone quickly. Do you have any, like um, any opportunities for fosters if you want? Absolutely. I mean, just to get the dogs out of the heat. Oh, yes, even. definitely. Yes. Well, ob yes, ob obviously with, um, with the heat and everything, we would definitely take fosters for dogs. And we have kittens everywhere okay really? <laughs> we are raining kittens wow. raining kittens yeah right so we, we're happy with kitten fosters puppy fosters um all right now do we, we know what wanna... caesar is type well of you dog? know what i'm thinking he's either like I'm, I'm gonna make him real fancy i think he might be like a vishla oh or maybe like a rhodesian ridgeback yeah or he kind of does look like that. yeah or he could just be a lab pity <laughs> but he's really cute but, but i'm gonna say he's a vishla <laughs> and he's really sweet i love <laughs> it look at all that, right look at that there's face. no reason you shouldn't go by and adopt a pet they're open seven days a week mm -hmm. that's right so seven go by and see mm -hmm. kathy and everybody at yep. your main. thank you <laughs> all right Caesar. we'll be back with more stay with us all right, the wonderful little town of Mullins is getting ready for their Let's Cruise Main Street event coming up. Lots of cars, lots of music, vendors, and some food. You got that right. Mayor Bo McMillan's with us and Michelle from the Chambers here with us now. That's right. Now, this thing has grown. Mayor, this thing has grown. It's a big deal to us. It really is. All right. And it just continues to grow. And this, and this year, to, to illustrate the growth, we've got 
not one, but two it's bands, bands, two great bands. Really? Hip Pocket Band and um, Blackwater, Rhythm, Blackwater Band. Yeah, good one there. All right, now mm -hmm. how did all this come about, Mayor? How did all this come about? It came about really of, um, with a Facebook text about the old days and uh, uh, Chris Ellis, who really I, we consider our founder, he started talking about it and said, let's make it happen. And I got involved and other people got involved. And we've got really a great group of people, don't we, Michelle, that sure do. get together and work very hard to make this right. a success. Y'all cruise Maine, and then where do you end up? Well, we, we cruise Maine, and then we end up at the old Butch's, which is uh, the parking lot is still there. Yeah. And the owner lets us use it, and we have food trucks there, and we have a DJ, and then we go from there back to downtown to the square. Wow. All, all right. right. So let's now, talk. We're talking music. We're talking vendors, food, all that. Tell us what's happening, Michelle. We also have a rolling car show mm -hmm. that is part of it, which is kind of unique to our area. We um, those every participant in the car show will actually participate in a parade that rolls down Main Street. Yeah. So That's cool. Right. And then everybody can vote for the People's Choice Award this year. But we'll have vendors from 10 a.m. on. Uh, the bands will close down at 11 p.m. that night, awesome. so there is something for all ages. So we hope everybody will come and shop our local merchants and see our food vendors, our craft vendors, and listen to our great bands. All right, now do they uh, can they just come out or register ahead of time, or what's the deal, real quick? They can register the day of if they've got a car yep. they want to put in the That's car good. show and yep. the parade. That would be will take you up till 12 o'clock from 12 to 2 that day all right, all right. May, always a pleasure you know that buddy i do always. see so. <laughs> thank you guys for being with us and we brought you some gifts oh some gifts i saw those yes, over there i'm excited i'm excited for me <laughs> i'm just kidding stick around we'll be back all right coming up the north carolina june jamboree dog show is set for june 1st up there in lumberton now this is going to be held at the southeastern agricultural center and timothy's with us now and this is a big deal there'll be a lot of barking going on there <laughs> <laughs> I can't even follow that up. I'm I don't sorry. even know what to say. <laughs> Timothy, tell us, um, dog show, tell us what is going on, what kind of dogs are we going to see, and who can come to this event? Um, it's open to anyone to come out and spectators and people with dogs. We have uh, five breeds. We have the American Pit Bull Terrier, the English Bulldog, the French Bulldog, the Oldie English Bulldog, and the American Bully. Those wow. are five breeds that we have on okay. for the schedule. All right, Look now this is, this is your first annual, so you're hoping you can make it, I mean, first time, so you're hoping you can make it an annual event. Yes, um, we usually have shows like every three months or so, but we usually make them annual. Um, we're also working on some other shows that we're doing in uh, different locations and stuff like that. Because I'm good. a dual judge now, so I also host and judge dog shows. What are some of the things that these are going to be judged on? Is it it's not agility this time? What no. are they going to be it's, judged uh, on? It's judged on confirmation of the standard of the breed. The standard, uh, just the look of them and yes. how pretty. What's the most unique, um, maybe, breed of this kind that you've seen? I'm the French Bulldog. The French I love the French Bulldog. They're really cool. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. All right, now, what kind of dog do you have? I know you French got. Bulldog. You a got, French Bulldog. That's why you like French it. Bulldog. That's great. <laughs> what time? Right. What are we going to find? Yeah. Can kids come to this event? Is there food? Yes. What's happening? Um, it's a free, it's a um, no booth fees. Okay. You just pay admission and then entry fee to show your dogs. We're going to have tables and chairs set up. So if you don't have it, you can come in and set up there. Um, the kids are um, 12 and under free. We have the bouncy house for the kids. We have vendors Perfect. for food and everything. So that's pretty neat. Huh? Yes, sir. And you're looking at, he's just telling me earlier, he's looking for a place maybe here in the Myrtle Beach area. Yes, sir. I'm sure you'll get a ton so of interest. It cool. sounds like a great event. Right over there in Lumberton, happening where again? Um, Southeastern Agricultural Center Horse Arena. Okay. That's an indoor event. Good. That's right off, yes. the, inter Wonderful. Right off the interstate. Yes, sir. You're heading north. Right. right off 74 interstate. Yep. Timothy, we thank you for being here, buddy, and I hope you have a lot of dogs and have a big show. I really do. Because I this too. is, that's going to be so cool if he brings one here. Yeah. Wouldn't that be neat? It would be neat. It'd be a great, great that area would be. for it. So awesome. Thank you. Good Thank luck you, on sir. your first event. Thank you. All, All right. right. All right, we got more coming up. Just finished talking about dogs. What's next? <laughs> You'll find out. Stay with us. It's funny, it's crazy, and you never know what Cecil or Amanda are going to say or do. Chewing gum burns about 11 calories It's per hour. Carolina and Company live weekdays on ABC 15. A fun show that makes you laugh and makes you feel good about where you live. If you just moved to the area, Carolina and Company Live is the show you need to watch. You'll find out about everything going on along the Grand Strand, PD and Border Belt. Check it out weekdays at noon on WPDE ABC 15. 
We hope you enjoyed a show for a Tuesday. Yeah. Pretty good. good you, do you know what that means? Which is the best part of the whole thing? Tomorrow's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> that means it's midweek and it's just all down or uphill That's right. from there for it your is. weekend. We had a great time today. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget, be back tomorrow. We'll do it all over again and we'll let you know everything that's going on in the area. That's right. Have a wonderful right. afternoon. See, See you guys all. later. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.